as I said, it smells really good, so I'm sure it's going to taste really good. It is quite hot at the moment though, so I will leave it a moment. Just blow on it. Mmm. That's really nice. That's delicious. Oh. Oh. You can certainly taste the herbs and it's seasoned so well as well. It's slightly salty, but not overly salty. Hi everyone and welcome back to Beauty's Kitchen and if you're new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and in today's video I want to share with you how to make a really delicious parma ham and potato soup. As I just mentioned, today I want to share with you how to make a really delicious soup. This soup is so easy and I think of this soup a bit like a poor man's soup. Um, I had a lot of vegetables left in the fridge that I wanted to use up so I decided to throw them all together and I had a bit of parma ham as well you could use bacon for this recipe if you wanted to as well and I just put them all in the pan together and I fried them up and, and then I added some stock and it the results were delicious so I thought I'd share the recipe with you today we are going to be having this one for our dinner so the first thing I've done is I've grabbed myself a large pan and I'm going to put that onto a high heat on my hob and I'm going to add oil to the base of that pan and I'm going to leave the pan to heat up but before I go I just want to say that if you have enjoyed this video today and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you did really enjoy this video today then please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and if you have any questions then please feel free to leave those in the comments section below everything like that really helps me out and I would really appreciate it my pan is getting nice and hot now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some leek to the bottom of this so I have sliced and diced one leek so I removed the top and the tail and then I just simply sliced the leek into about half centimetre pieces and I'm going to put that into the base of the pan like so and I'm going to fry these leeks until they start to soften it should take around three to five minutes so I'm just going to continue to fry the leeks the leek has started to soften beautifully so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the vegetables so here I have one car carrot that I've simply peeled and diced into about one centimetre pieces and I've also got about 200 grams of butternut squash that I've also peeled and diced into about one centimetre pieces and I'm just going to pop these into the base of the pan. Now if you need to, you will need to remove the seeds from the butternut squash when you open it. I just used the top part of the butternut squash so I didn't need, a, there was no need to remove any seeds. So I'm just going to pop these into the base of my pan and I'm just going to fry these probably for about five minutes. They may not soften, butternut squash and carrots don't tend to soften as easily as other vegetables but I just want to get some heat through them before I add in the stock so I'm just going to continue to fry these vegetables the vegetables have started to sort of soften now so what I'm going to do is I am going to add in the parma ham so I've got about six slices of parma ham here. I'm making this soup as if it serves three. I've used the same quantity of vegetables just because I love vegetables. Um, but I am using about a two, uh, three quarters of the meat content. So I did say, I think I said six to eight slices of parma ham, but I've got six here as this is only serving three. So I'm just gonna pop the parma ham into the frying pan. I'm just going to fry this now with all of the vegetables in the bottom of the pan until it sort of turns a pink, a dark pink colour basically. It shouldn't take long, it should only take about three to five minutes before it starts to soften and colour. So I'm just going to continue to fry the parma ham. So the parma ham has been frying for about three minutes. I'm just going to turn the heat down a wee bit as well because it's starting to get a bit sticky in here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about a litre of chicken stock to the base of the pan, like so. 
And then to that, I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of tamari. Tamari is just soya sauce. It's just fermented for a bit longer than soya sauce. So it actually makes it gluten free. So it's just a gluten free soya sauce basically. But if you wanted to use soya sauce, then you could. And then to that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of uh, Italian herbs, dried mixed herbs basically. Don't worry if you can't get Italian ones, you can just use dried mixed herbs. And then I'm going to mix all of that together. I'm going to scrape the bottom as well because that's where all the flavour is down the bottom. And then I'm going to turn the heat back up and I'm going to add in my potatoes at this point as well. So I'm just going to add the potatoes to the base of the pan and I'm going to bring this to the bowl and then I'm going to let it simmer and leave it to boil like you would normal potatoes basically. So as I said, I'm just going to pop the lid on and bring this to the boil. The pan has started to come to the boil so I'm just going to turn the heat down and I'm going to remove the lid and I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to this as well. So salt and pepper to your taste. So as I said, I'm just going to leave this to simmer now until the potatoes are soft. It should take about 10 to 15 minutes, I'd say. So what you want is the, for the potatoes to fall from the fork and then you know that that's the potatoes cooked and done then. And then all I have to do after that is just throw in some green beans and that will be it. So I'm just going to leave this to cook. For a little while now. The potatoes have been boiling away for a good 10 minutes I'd say and I just wanted to check them so I put them on a fork and as you can see they are forkful. One just basically broke up in my in the fork so these potatoes are done as you can see and all I'm going to do now is add some green beans to this and again I'm going to bring the green beans to the boil and then I'm going to leave them to simmer for a good three minutes. And then basically that is our soup done. A one pan soup, delicious and tasty. I will try and let you know how it tastes though as well. But it smells so good. As I always say in these videos, this smells really good. So I'm really looking forward to this for my dinner this evening. This pan has started to come to a boil. So I'm just gonna turn the heat down again, leave it to simmer for about three minutes now. And then I will serve some and let you know how it tastes. As I mentioned earlier, I thought I would just share with you how it tastes as well. So I'm going to grab a little bit of the potato and a little bit of the broth and some of the uh, parma ham as well. As I said, it smells really good, so I'm sure it's going to taste really good. It's quite hot at the moment though, so I will leave it a moment. Just blow on it. Mmm. That's really nice. That's delicious. Oh. Oh. You can certainly taste the herbs and it's seasoned so well as well. It's slightly salty but not overly salty. So yes, as I said, I'm really looking forward to this for my dinner this evening. That's how you make my delicious parma ham and potato soup. And that recipe, I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to be having this for our dinner this evening. And it smells and tastes so good, I can't wait. So for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.